hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to share with you is that uh, the telegram bot exactly so uh, bot is a very powerful tool and the telegram bot is a very powerful tool and it has a very uh, vivid and uh, very descriptive uh, documentation it has a lot of context it has middleware error handling it has api calls it has sending and receiving messages i did not find any tutorial that gives me the very basic of the board and in a very good way so i tried to create this kind of a uh, tutorial so it can help people to create a board because uh, obviously uh, we engineers required uh, uh, this kind of tool uh, in any point of time in development so uh, this can be helpful to the person who are going to create it or use it in a different way. So this is very simple. The gram is the package exactly. You install it and this is the SDK. You can say this is the SDK for the Telegram bot. So before if you can start the bot, you have to go to the uh, bot folder and this is very simple. You have to create a token from the bot folder. In every SDK there are tokens and uh, this is not an exception also. There is also this bot further where you have to go and create the token uh, for your bot. You have to provide a unique name for your bot and then it will give you the token. It is very simple. I'm not going through that process. You can figure it out yourself. That for sure. Okay. So now coming to this scenario, uh, we can see what we can, uh, what we have created first and then we can dive into the code. So uh, start. And welcome to the code uh, 180 tutorial. So this is a very uh, welcoming message uh, to the person who clicked, who gives a start. So now I will click hello. Like and subscribe. So, so uh, as you can see, these are the two different type of messages. One is with the slash, one is without the slash. So this is a very simple message and this is a command exactly so these two things are different so let's uh, first dive into the code and see what i have created so these things can are going to happen and this is very simple this is not complicated the complication part will be coming on to the later section but this is very simple exactly so this there are four main section where you can hear what the users are getting input out so these are command these are here these are on uh, these are even handlers okay so when you give a command start so comments always starts with slash start okay so this is a command exactly so if you wanted to uh, um, your bot to react on commands this is uh, the uh, command um, you have to write the command inside this command module systems exactly so I am not using any means of any other things. This is node one, simple, grammy, and dot uh, env. So these two things has been imported over here, and this is a bot uh, initialization. And after that, I am using these things. So the first thing is the command. Okay. So uh, the command has been gone. Now coming to a specific text. Okay, so I have put in hello. Let's put hello 180 and let's see what happens. Okay, if you put hello 180, it will return you the exact the text that is written over here. Okay, now these are the two things that are very specific to your requirements exactly. So if you wanted the user to add commands, uh, give commands to you, then you can write it down. But what about the generalized? text system that is going to happen so uh, for that this is the event actually if you stop everything here if you stop everything this is bot on message okay bot on message is the exact event that is happening whenever you are messaging to the bot and if you remove this and if you put a console dot log here and print the message over here obviously I'm responding to the message let's type hello this time see what happened it returns you exactly the full JSON object 
over here and also not that it will also have console.log so you can see how the json objects look like over here exactly so there you there is your message the message dot text so if you write it like this message dot text okay now your message will be replied like this now your message will be replied like this hello and you will return the same one so you are basically taking the user input on this section you are fully taking the user input and processing it so now you can inside this you can make an api call inside this you can uh, talk to anything inside this you can do anything with your requirements over here so message just takes another event is also to get so i am taking the whole message object but you can also specify here is a sample of it. You can also specify message.txt over here. And another thing is that if you wanted to write a shortcut on this, so this is the shortcut exactly. This these events do the same thing. This is a whole object. This is only the message.txt. This is the shortest form, the colon text. So it will do the exact same thing this too and uh, but this is the whole object you need sometimes the whole object you wanted to get the timestamp you wanted to get something else uh, from this you wanted to get the id you wanted to, to get uh, if uh, it is updated at or um, something like this so there are this is the whole section exactly now there are also certain things now if i comment it out fully and if i do it like this message colon photos now this is another event handler when when uh, when you give a message over here when you update a photo over here send a photo over here it takes something it gives you the entire json encoded object over here so you can take this file id and put it uh, in your database or do whatever you want you can upload this file it's the basic for encoded system that gives you the raw data and uh, you can use this uh, in any means and any format so this is very very useful thing uh, that uh, it has exactly even you can send otp uh, to these things i will be coming to that not in this tutorial in the further future tutorial i will be coming with the otp version of this so how how you are sending this otp over there and what are the things that are going to happen in this scenario? There are also, I have, I have set examples over this. There are also some, these are, these are shortcuts. The lower ones are the shortcuts, message.url, email, text. So text is colon text I have shown you. That message.entities.url, message content URL. Okay, message entities code, message code and code snippet. So you can do a lot of things with this bot this is very powerful and i am i'm really amazed to explore this thing i have not explored this bot i have heard of bot and when i go to youtube i find not a very good tutorials about bot and how to create it though not the basic things were clear so this is where the basics are being cleared exactly and if you go to the you can go into this section see you can send and receive and send messages obviously to anyone okay so you can send messages okay even you can even you can create games on the bot you can create games on the bot yeah you when you go to create a token there is an option to create a game and game token for this we'll be coming to this also on these pools and webhooks obviously there are a lot of things this uh, these things are very useful for developers and engineers like us uh, these are um, the mind-blowing things that uh, we need exactly to operate our bot in a larger and a bigger scale, uh, obviously. And context is there. And so the things that I have shown you, this is all here exactly. And uh, all the shortcuts and all the description has been written out over here. So uh, this is a very good thing that I have 
uh, I am exploring. I want you to explore as well on these things. Uh, I will be definitely giving the codes and everything on the description. Thank you so much for watching these videos. If you like my videos, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.